Okay, the preparation work is complete. We now come to installing the channel, and it is great that everything is pre-assembled. I can take it like this, position it, align it and install it at the correct height. The only object I need is a piece of timber. The timber helps to evenly distribute the force that I apply when knocking in the channel at the front and rear ends. So, we are at the correct height. Any inaccuracies can be compensated for when I put in the concrete at the sides. It is important for the eye to be correct. I can correct the wrist somewhat using the back support. This means that we have to go a little deeper in this area. I will go just beneath the string. It's now clear of the string and the first running meter is in position. I can place the next channel here, on an appropriate surface. I have the starting height, I can simply check the final height. Time and time again, I find that the weight is fantastic. I can work here without putting strain on my back. And even if the height is not correct, as is the case here, I simply lift the channel out again, put some concrete beneath it and level it out again. We also have to keep an eye on the direction of flow, because the channels can have slightly different shapes. This is a tongue and groove system. We will now fit a band that is automatically correct, put on the timber and adjust the height by knocking the channel in carefully. And the next meter is in place. Before I install the final meter I need to think. Saw off the tongs here at the front so that the end cap will have a flush connection. The end cap has clips on the front that can engage here at the rear. In any case, it will be finished off properly at the end. I'll use my saw to do this.